Hi everyone, it's David here at DigiTrains. I hope you're all well. Today we have a video for you, something a little bit different, our first ever DCC decoder hardwire installation guide. John D from our workshop team has recently fitted a decoder and stay alive to this Hornby 040 Club Special Loco and we thought this would make a great candidate for an install guide as the chassis, motor and pickups are very similar to the Hornby Smoky Joe and the Hornby Class 06. So parts wise for this installation, John used a Zimo MX617F decoder and a Lays DCC86009 Stay Alive. So the installation will obviously require a few tools, so you will need a solder line, preferably with a fine tip, some solder, a pair of wire strippers, a suitable crosshead screwdriver for dismantling the body, some captain insulation tape and some black tack or some equivalent to hold everything in place. So first things first, John is going to remove the chassis from the body of the locomotive. Now it's always handy to have a little tray close by to pop any screws in just so you don't lose anything at this point. Now John did move the little retaining clip here off the motor. Um, this one turned out it wasn't necessary, you don't need to do this on this particular model uh, because the motor terminals are facing upwards. Now the first step to this installation is separating the pickups from the motor terminals. This can be done by desoldering them. Uh, John said he found this quite tough on this particular model, uh, so he used wire snippers. So he just snipped the wires off. He removed the TV suppressing capacitors, that's the two orange discs there. You see he sat on the cutting mat. We do recommend removing these capacitors because they can interfere with the running of the decoder. Now John is doing a little bit of tidy up work here with the soldering iron so he's just cleaning off any residual bits of wire that were left over from when he snipped them off from the motor terminal so he's doing that with the soldering iron and a pair of tweezers. That means the uh, terminals are nice and clean and clear ready for the next step in the installation. So once the terminals are all nice and clean, John is stripping the wire on the ends of the pickups, as so, and then he tins them with a little bit of solder to get them ready for the next step. Now with a little 040 loco like this, we really would recommend a stay alive. It absolutely transforms the running of them. So we've got a selection now, the here first from three DCC. stay alive that John is showing you here are the smaller compact Kung Fu stay alive from Lay's. And the last one is the 86009 larger stay alive. Now John will be using the 86009 larger stay alive in this loco because it will fit neatly in the cab as shown here. Now for neatness, John is going to remove any unused wires from the decoder. So John is removing the white and yellow wires here, so they control lighting normally, so it would be forward and reverse lights. Obviously there's no lighting on this model, so they're not required. So for neatness, and to create a little bit of extra room, he's removing those wires. Now John has snipped the plug off the end of the decoder because this is a hardwire installation, you won't be needing the plug obviously. And now he's just calculating the length of the wires that will be required for the installation. First off he's looking at the grey and the orange wires which will be attached to the motor terminals. A little bit of black tack or blue tack is quite handy at this stage just to temporarily secure the decoder on top of the motor. And here John is just snipping the wires to the desired length. Now the next set of wires John's looking at are the black and the red and these connect to the pickups. Again very similar, obviously with the decoder temporarily secured in place, he's just iron up the length he needs and trim into length. Now 
So in exactly the same fashion as the decoder, he's now going to be looking at the stay alive. So he's offering up the body there to the chassis and calculating how much wire he's going to need and he's going to snip that to the desired length. Now, once he's happy with the wire lengths, he's just going to tin the ends of the wires coming out of the stay alive there. So once he's tinned the end of the wires, he's just going to nip a little bit more off. So he's probably got about a millimetre of exposed tinned wire. So the next stage in the installation is probably the trickiest. This is attaching the stay alive to the decoder. So this involves a little bit of fine soldering. Um, so we're going to take the blue wire from the stay alive, which should attach to the common solder pad. And the black wire will attach to the ground solder pad, as you can see here on the diagram of the decoder, which is included in the instructions. So again, John will secure the decoder temporarily in place using a little bit of black tack there on his cutting mat. This is just so nothing's moving around and makes it easier when you're soldering. Next, John is going to tin the little solder pads on the decoder here. So this is obviously where a fine tip on your soldering iron comes in very handy because that's quite a small area to solder, but it's not impossible. And here we see John touching the wires. So like I say, we've got the blue going to the common pad and the black going to the ground pad. Now the next step is arguably one of the most important steps and that is insulating your decoder. So John is wrapping a little bit of captain tape around that. And this will prevent any shorts and prolong the life of your decoder so you can enjoy it for as long as possible. So next step, John is going to trim and tin the wires on the decoder. So once the decoder is all prepped and ready, John is going to take the orange and the grey wires from the decoder and solder them onto the motor terminals of the motor. So once the orange and grey wires are secure, it's time to look at the red and the black wires. So these go to your pickups. So here John is attaching the red wire from the decoder to the right hand side pickup. So he's gently twisted the wire together there and just running a little bit of solder over it to attach it. And then he repeats the step using the black wire on the left hand side. Now, just to make the installation as neat as possible, Gion is just trimming away some of the excess there from the joins. So here, John is going to put a little bit of heat shrink around the exposed joins there. And this is obviously just to prevent any shorts again.
So with all of those steps complete, John is going to secure the decoder on top of the motor. He's going to use a little bit of black tack there, making sure all the wires are tucked away neatly, and then to secure it finally in place with a piece of insulation tape. Next up, John is going to secure the stay alive within the cab. This is quite an easy job because it's a, a, a reasonably snug fit. It just needs a little bit of black tack and that'll hold it in place. And then John is going to put the body back on the locomotive. So we're going to put it all back together. So once everything is back together and sitting neatly and flush, it's going to be time to give the locomotive a test. So here John is giving the loco a test, so obviously it will be a factory default address number three. He's giving it a run back and forwards there and now he is demonstrating the amazing power of this Lay's DCC Stay Alive. So believe it or not this video is actually sped up, but once he removed it from the track the loco kept running for 1 minute and 55 seconds. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful and interesting. If you're watching on YouTube, please don't forget to click like and subscribe so you don't miss out any future videos. Uh, please leave a comment in the section below. We'd love to read them. Uh, if you're interested in getting decoders, sound or non-sound installed in your locos, please get in touch with our workshop team either by email johng at digitrains.co.uk or over the phone on 01522 527 731. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.